I was just really mortified and embarrassed and not feeling good about things. So YC kicks off the batch with a retreat. This is something that's relatively new. They only started doing it after COVID, so it hasn't actually happened that many times in YC history. All the founders get together in wine country and get to know each other for a few days before the grind really begins. I was so impressed with the production level of this event. YC had rented out the entire resort and it felt like summer camp slash a very elite conference. Like every detail was thought over. There were very professional printouts with schedules and the map that folded up into your pocket and then popped open. Um, we all had badges and the lanyards were color coded based on which group you were in. There was so much staff everywhere helping us out. I had such a good time getting to know everyone. Everything was so well organized. And that's the thing about doing this so much after college has passed. Like I haven't had this in years and years. In college, I had a bunch of this stuff, but now it's been like a decade. And so I feel like I could really appreciate it. My three favorite things about the retreat were first, the first night, every company gave a 60 second pitch about themselves with a slide. And this was a really nice way to get to know all the companies, at least an initial overview very quickly. My second favorite thing was grape stomping. This was a team building activity that was done one of the afternoons. I have a bunch of footage of that in the retreat vlog if you wanna check it out. It was amazing. And then my very favorite thing about the event was hearing the partners give their founder talks. We have four group partners. We have Jared, Serby, Nate, and Wayne. And each of them gave like 30 to 45 minute presentations on their entire journey from starting to exiting their respective companies. And this actual raw, unfiltered, first person narratives of what it's like on the inside of starting a company is something you just can't hear in public. It's These are stories that are only told behind closed doors. It's something that would hurt the company, the customers of the company, the employees who are still at the company, even if it's already been acquired. And so even though telling the truthful stories would help a lot of entrepreneurs, the cost is just too high. And so the only thing that does get shared is the rosy public narrative. What that means is the only way to get the truthful stories of starting startups is to have founder friends or be part of communities like YC. Having the YC partners be so open and vulnerable makes me feel a lot more comfortable sharing all the issues and mistakes that I feel like I'm making. My first meeting with YC once we had been accepted is one that I'm really not proud of. We got into YC and I thought that with the idea we applied with, we had gotten ourselves out of Pivot Hill, but turns out we hadn't. We still, a few weeks later, got back into Pivot Hill and we had this first meeting. And part of what we discussed, it was a great meeting by the way, I should kind of share the full story at some point. But part of what we discussed in the meeting was um, the YC partners Jared and Nate asking us about all the ideas that we had been through as part of our pivot journey. And I felt so embarrassed um, listing everything out. I felt like such a disaster. Like how have I spent months of my life in this limbo world and going through such wildly different ideas? I was so embarrassed to just lay everything out there. But then I heard their stories and I was like, they get it. They've been through all of this. Some of them had to pivot a bunch. It's all part of the process. And immediately like the shame and embarrassment I felt went away, which was frankly really a gift. Like I had been carrying this burden and feeling so badly about myself for so long. And part of what the, you know, the founder talks by the partners taught me is that starting startups is always messy. Like there is no such thing as a rosy reality of building a company. And I feel like I'm in really good hands with the partners at YC. I think a good rule of thumb is that you should only take advice in life from people who have done what you're trying to do. And so all the YC partners have started very successful companies. And I feel really honored to get the opportunity to surround myself by them.